back. This is Elliot and Jose coming to you from Dreamline Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois. Here once again on the Comic Culture Warrior video channel. This is a part that we call Last Rants. And Last Rants is when Jose and I can revisit a topic that we've talked about before or something completely new. I've learned I really can't side against you with anything because people will just take your side. You got a nice group of lemmings out there, man. Uh, whatever Jose says. They know where their bread is buttered. <laughs> <laughs> At no point did I say that Blair Butler being on the cover of Booster Gold was a bad thing. It was in between the lines. Everyone could see it. <laughs> Even I could see it. Okay. Well, it was implied very heavily in your statements. There's a whole, Blair and I have a past, okay? I'm not going to get into it. She knows what she did. And it hurt. It hurt. I don't want to revisit it, but okay. <laughs> in either case, we're not going to talk about that. But there is something interesting going on uh, this year. That um, I actually had a conversation with the, one of the owners of Dreamland uh, last weekend about. Yeah, this is actually kind of behind the scenes stuff um, as far as distributions go and comic retailer stuff. So people who are tuning in to see us talk about comics and stuff might be a little bit bored. Yeah. Uh, but it is a, kind of a big thing. Well, General Dark doesn't like me just talking about Blair Butler. So. Well, I think he's going to dislike this even more. He's going to whine. He's going to wish that you were talking about Burr <laughs> Butler again. The week of December 28th, that's the week between Christmas and New Year's. Diamond Distributors, we're talking about the, the distributor of comics. I mean, yes, there are others that do like lesser amounts of distributing and there are others out there but for all intents and purposes when it comes to marvel dc and image um everything um diamond dark horse dark horse the diamond is the one that uh, dynamite too diamond sends you know ships out everything so for the week between christmas and new year's not diamond will not ship any new product so that is a week one week out of the 52 where you will have no new comic books, or at least from the mainstream or the bit, the larger comic book publishers, you will have no new product from them that week. Why is that such a big deal? Why even bother bringing it up? That is the week when y'all has your Christmas money. You have all that, uh, your gift cards, your certificates. Um, if someone got you a uh, gift certificate to your favorite comic shop, which many comic shops yep. have, you will not be able to use it that following the, the, the day after because there will be no new product and for you to buy. This is kind of an unprecedented thing. I mean, I've been in the industry now for too long. Uh, this will it'll be in, this Christmas. It'll be 17 years that wow. I've been in the industry as a retailer, and I don't remember anything like this ever occurring where yep. there was just one week where nothing, nothing. comes out. Well, nothing from Diamond. Well, right. Nothing from right. Diamond. Nothing and from Diamond. But, I mean, there, that's no new Marvel Comics. Right. That's no new DC. That's new Dark Horse, Image, Boom Dyn Studios, Dynamite, uh, any of those. Right. But that is not to say that um, there, well, I mean, I know we're saying there's going to be no new product, but there is going to be product out there, but it's not going to be the product that you're accustomed to seeing. And I guess this is where we say... This, while it's going to piss off a lot of people, this could be the perfect opportunity for someone to step in for one of those other distributors that competes with Diamond to step in and say, guess what? You can't get anything from them, but we are going to hit you with a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of new stuff, a whole bunch of good stuff that people can buy and people can read. Maybe this could be an opportunity for those independents to step up and say, this is what we've got. Yeah, I... I mean, we just found out about this about a week ago, retailers, about a week or two ago. Um, and it kind of came out of nowhere. Because, again, this never really happened before. And the fact that people do have problems with there only being one major comic distributor. It yeah. is a monopoly. Right. Uh, I don't care how you spin it, it it's fucking what it is. It, it, and 
I think this is this is going to be the breaking point. This is going to be when I, I think retailers aren't going to stand for it. Because, okay, you have to understand, there are retailers who are on terms with Diamond, mm-hmm. like Net14, Net30, so you get to pay, uh, uh, pay your Diamond bills. And then there are people who have to pay their bills when they get their new stuff. Mm-hmm. Like a weekly, you have to pay for, for your new stuff. And to have, to have theoretically a two-week gap between Wednesdays, that's a long fucking time. Mm-hmm. And a lot of comic shops that are, are barely getting by use their, their last week's uh, profits to right. pay for this week's. The following week, right. And seriously, that is harsh. Yeah. That is really, really harsh for some guys who are just barely getting by. I don't know how they're going to be able to do it. I mean, it's gonna hurt. I don't. It's it's gonna hurt everybody, regardless, because that it it is the huge week. It's right after Christmas, when and, and those are technically really good because January slow month for comics, but you get through like all four weeks in December are important right. because you get all that Christmas money. You get people buying the gifts, and then you and then after Christmas you get that week before New Year's where people come in, they they cash in their gift certificates, but then they have their Christmas money, and it really helps out. Right. To end out that month really, really like, on top. Right. No, that is. I remember, and Lori told me that's it's, here at Dreamland. That's typically one of their biggest weeks. Mm-hmm. That's when you do a you do a lot of business. You get a lot of money, and you're right. It helps finish out your month very strong. Or the year. To, yeah, to I mean, have help year. your years finish very strong. And now to look at the flip side of it, just so you know, I mean, the reasoning behind is Diamond is not doing this because they're trying to be cruel or anything. Diamond suffering too. You know they've they've had to do a lot of cutbacks in, in as far as their staffing. They've lost a lot of folks. Well, the, the reasoning They're... is because um, uh, if you're lucky like us, uh, if you're a lucky retailer and there's a drop ship point where Diamond directly ships your product there, you can go pick it up. We have a drop ship point about uh, 25 minutes from the store, so we go pick up our stuff and we bring it back and break it down. And you mm-hmm. put it out. But then there's people who aren't lucky enough to be near a drop point so they get stuff ups one two sometimes three days Mm -hmm. and diamond typically ships them out say if if you're on like three days uh it takes three days to get stuff from diamond ups they ship it out friday so you have it by wednesday the new comic day well ups is going to be closed because christmas and new year's both fall on fridays this year so there's gonna be no ups on on that friday or for the entire weekend so the people who have UPS shipments are going to get screwed because they're going to get their stuff late. Right. But isn't it better to get it late than to not get any at all for an not entire week? Not get any at all, right. And to me, this kind of – And, it's and like, again, this is all – I've heard this is all speculation on our part. Right. Diamond's going to save a lot of money. By not having to pay people to yeah. work. Well, that's the whole purpose behind them doing it. Right. No, that's the whole purpose behind them so doing it. Yeah. For Diamond, and they're not going to deny that. Right. And if they come out and say, oh, well, we're not trying to save money. It's just, no, come on. Well, you're going no. to. Yeah. I mean, that, it, yeah. that's just how it's going to work out. You're going right. to save money because right. you're not going to have to pay people for an entire week to work. Right.